Hey, this is Luke with another Android Guys podcast. I'm here with Scott. Hello, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, didn't I? You, you did. You got me. <laughs> What's going on? You uh, you sound so jovial, but also like there's an edge. <laughs> like there's something behind that. Yeah. Like, guess how I'm feeling. You can. We don't have to do this if you don't want to. Yeah, you're the one to hit record. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Um. So, <laughs> are you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing awesome. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? You want me to take it from here? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you take it? You, uh, you, all, right. all about security right now, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I will talk to you and share uh, some things about the Nui ProCam. Okay, Nui N O O I E. So if you're trying to look it up, if you're driving and listening to us, pull over. Yeah, don't look it up. <laughs> Wait till you get home. Uh, Nui ProCam. So this. The version that we received is a kit. Okay. It's a bundle that is two cameras and a base station. Mm -hmm. So this thing is about $250, $260. These cameras, I don't know if you saw them here. I actually have to. Yeah. We're staying late here at the office to record this. Mm -hmm. I have to turn off my notifications in the app because it sees us moving around. Uh Uh, So that is one of the features of these cameras. And that's not exclusive, obviously, to these. But Sure. Uh, they're small little cameras. They're they are kind of like a two thirds the size of a juice box. Yeah, they're they're pretty small. They're squarish, mm-hmm. which is nice because you can set them anywhere. Yeah, and they'll they'll just live there. You don't have to prop them up or anything like that. Right now, they do have a uh, magnetic little mount uh-huh. that you can stick into the back of it. It'll bite into it, kind of grab it, and then you can kind of swivel that. You can hang it on a wall. Oh, cool. Um, it's got some screws, and you can kind of slide it in and out for that. Sure. Then there's the uh, charging port on the back of them. Yeah. The color of them is interesting. It comes in what's known as clay. Yeah. Which is kind of, I mean, it looks like a clay kind of yeah. um, natural color, mm-hmm. but it does blend into pretty much any environment. These, yeah. are, these are small. They are unobtrusive. Yeah, they look great. Like yeah. they're, you know, to the unknowing person, mm-hmm. you know, if, if the idea for this is security or to keep an eye on, you know, something while you're away a, a certain place, if anybody was going to try and, you know, enter that, the area, these don't look like normal security cameras. They right. could be passed over potentially. It looks like it could be, uh, you know, a charger yeah, poor like a charging brick, a a a battery pack, a little speaker, a toy. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's it's very kind of nondescript, and I I I like that it, that appeals I, yeah, to me. A lot of these indoor outdoor cameras, and this will do both. A lot of those tend to be spheres, right. orbs, these types of like eye in the sky mm-hmm. thing. You can mount these outside if you wanted to. Um, they are water like w- water resistant. Mm-hmm. I think they look pretty cool. They they don't draw your eye to them. No. But if you had it hanging on a wall, you know, mounted, you would obviously look up and say, "Oh, that's a camera." Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a they have a like a spotlight that will kick on. Okay. If it if it needs to, and then you'll definitely feel like, "Oh, there's there's the lens, there's gotcha. the the uh, LED the, the the light." So you get two cameras and the base station to kind of set it up. This base station is just plugged directly into the wall. And you can connect it Wi-Fi. So you pair it to mm-hmm. your phone and teach it the Wi-Fi. Or you can plug in directly with uh, an Ethernet cable and then just kind of run it out of a router or a modem or a switch if, you, you know, um, if you've got a hub or something. Just connect it that way. So these uh, cameras are 2K. So they're going to give you 2K resolution. Yeah. Which is nice. Um, everything is pretty much done through the app. You're going to have uh, the ability to kind of do like a real-time view of what's going on in the environment. I'll say office because that's where I've got them here. Sure. Uh, so I have mine set up. You can go into each one of them and set up detection. You can create zones. So I've got it pointed at certain parts of the office here. And after 6 p.m., 
Monday through Friday, and then on weekends, it just basically any time. Sure. It will let me know if there's any movement in the office. Right. Um, and it did because that picture over there on the wall came down. Oh, no. Yeah. And I knew about it before I got here. Yeah. Because it just, you know, I've got some command strips, Velcro. Yeah. And as the temperature gets colder and changes here, sure. those fell. And I knew that because. You got a little notification. Yeah. So does it do a, a little recording whenever there's yeah. movement too? Yep. And you can customize, I think, how long that goes. Nice. Um, you can also set up so it'll know like if there's a human, it'll say human detected okay. or possible human detected. Yeah. Uh, what I do like is that when you set this up, you can set it up basically without having to worry about your Wi-Fi network. Yeah. A lot of things are either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Right. And some of the Wi-Fi settings or networks that people have at home, they don't have that control over which one of those things. So like if your sure. phone's on 5G right, and you're trying to teach this camera. That's 2.4. Yeah. It's going to say this network isn't supported. Right. And then you're like, well, how do I connect my phone to my router? If I want to view my stuff, do I have to be on 2.4? Right. Be able, yeah. So this will work on either or. Nice. Uh, it has, like I said, the spotlight. It's got an 8X zoom, digital zoom that okay. you can kind of pull up. Uh, Two-way audio. So if you do nice. want to you know, send a message or communicate with somebody. If you've got sure. this at a house and somebody's, you know, knocking at the door, you can see them, mm -hmm. you can communicate through them. There's a memory card uh, slot on the side of it. So if you want to okay. put that in there to store your um, video, I believe it's going to hold about 30 days nice. on 128 okay. uh, gigabyte card. And I imagine it would just overwrite as needed. Yep. To keep so the recording. oldest sure. stuff will go away uh, to make, room for the newest nice it'll also work with your google home and alexa nice so if you need to kind of tie that in to pull mm -hmm. that up or uh, to see what's going on right um it's a nice little kit the i don't even know if you know where the base is but i've got it i don't know <laughs> i've got it plugged in uh behind this uh, wall over here okay. with uh just tucked out of the way nice it's, it's doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I don't know if you're looking at the photo of it. Yeah, here. yeah, I see it. it kind of looks it, it, it very much. So overall, I think this very much fits in with a lot of like the the Google or the Alexa kind of color palettes lately. It's very uh, muted. Yeah, but it's not just white. It's right. Not, it's got some texture to yeah, it. It's not the, clinical. The it's base not... station looks like it has kind of a canvas cover mm -hmm. almost. Yep. So I really like these mm -hmm. uh, for two fifty nine to get both cameras at that price in the base station. Now you can add other cameras to it. Yeah, it does support multiple. There are some three sixty cameras, indoor okay. outdoor cameras. They also do like a doorbell or something. Yeah. yeah. So they do offer. Nui offers a whole suite of things. Um, so for two fifty two sixty, I should say, this is a pretty competitive package yeah. when you look at what some of the other manufacturers are doing. Sure. I like this thing. Um, I don't really have any gripes with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the vision is nice. The color night vision, you know, if you, that's when that fell was in the dark. Yeah. And I was still able to dis, you know, to discern. I was like, Oh, that stupid puzzle yeah. thing that's framed. So I, I knew what was going on. It was very easy to kind of figure that out. Um, very just generally a cool little kit. Mm -hmm. Um, I gave this an averaged out score to 4.21. That's great. So, fours across the board, and I even leaned into some four and a halves. Uh, yeah. just generally, you know, battery life on these so far, I've had them for a couple of weeks now. Very, very good battery. Yeah, this thing just kind of sips, mm -hmm. you know, and then that might be based off of my schedule. Of sure. when it kicks on, it kicks off. Sure. Um, but this is something that I could see myself only having to charge once every couple of months. Nice. It's It seems to be that good. Now, results are going to vary based off of personal use, but sure. it's very easy to plug them in yeah. to the, the cable into the back there. And then, uh, you know, I can't imagine it takes all that long to charge them up. No. It looks like they also, another uh, accessory for them is they have a... Uh, solar like panel. panel. Yeah. So you, you can, use can if you're doing outdoor stuff. Yes. There's like a, a another kit that you can get for basically fifty dollars more. Uh-huh. Uh, now if you bought it with the cameras, 
and the base, you can get it for forty dollars more. So you do save a little bit of money if you bought it up front. Sure. But it also has, yeah, like you said, it's a, it's a solar panel that you would mount. So if you're doing one of these cameras outdoor, mm -hmm. if you got like a, a backyard you want to keep an eye on or a storage unit or something that's, you know, and you're thinking, well, I don't really have power to that. Yeah. That and I don't want to, yeah, I don't need to take it down to charge it up because you can mount the solar panel mm -hmm. and pretty much have an endless power And that's supply. pretty, I mean, it looks like a solar panel, but it's not big yeah. compared to the camera. I mean- if if what the picture on their advertisement on the website here looks like it's maybe double the length of the camera mm -hmm. and it's just a flat panel so i mean those these cameras are little like three and a half inch yeah so i can't imagine the solar panels bigger than a six by nine right. or something like that maybe yeah so the uh one other thing to talk about the outdoor the water resistance mm -hmm. i don't know what the how, how you rate this or to what extent you would say, but these are fire resistant. Interesting. So on their website, it does say waterproof and fire resilience. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. I don't know how to test that. That would be something that if you're concerned with it or you hear that and think, oh, I do have some weird needs, maybe check into that, you know, and ask Nui or maybe they have it on their website. Find out a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, to find out if that's... maybe it's uh, something with it resists maybe a little bit more heat. So in case somebody has a grill under it or something, it's not going to melt or yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that fire resilience means. Right. Um, interesting. Well, these things look really cool. They yeah, do. and at, like I said, at two sixty, you're getting the camera. Each camera, you know, if you don't count the base station and just look at it as two cameras, even at one thirty. I think they're great cameras for 130. Yeah. Well, I mean, with integrating with home, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's color night vision, 2K resolution. I mean, those are like yeah, becoming more standard, but those are great features. Yeah, at that at that price, you might see other cameras that don't quite have all of this stuff. Sure, but at the same thing, you know, this is a nice little bundle that says, "Hey, there's also room to grow." So yeah. if this is your first, you know foray into adding cameras to your home mm -hmm. i think it's a good way to get started sure yeah so that is the newy and that's called the pro cam awesome well thanks scott you're welcome damn it all right that's gonna do it for this episode of the podcast thanks for listening we appreciate it if you guys have any questions feedback concerns comments anything Shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.